Hey everybody, what's up? This is Dwight Dillon. I help performers eliminate stage fright and performance anxiety. And I want to answer a question today that I read on Reddit, and here we go. It's all about how anxiety leads to forgetfulness. I'm sure we've all been there. It goes like this. Over the past couple of months, I've found myself slipping into a rut of anxiety and general disconnect from the world around me. I've had anxiety for years now, but my girlfriend recently pointed out that to me, I'm incredibly forgetful and unreliable, and I genuinely did not realize this until the past few weeks. It's a real point of strain between us because naturally locking herself out of the house for hours or forgetting to do something important for her or indeed others leads to the conclusion that I simply don't care, which isn't true at all. Does anybody have any advice for me on how I can help myself get off the slippery slope? Yes. This is going to happen when you have a lot of stuff going on in your mind, okay? You're going to get anxious because you're trying to balance it. It's like juggling, you know, six or seven balls at the same time. Here's the thing. Your conscious mind can only hold seven bits of information at a time, okay? Think of it like, um, you know, a, uh, a USB stick, okay? If it had maybe seven gigs, okay? And if you fill it up after that, you are just, it's not going to work, okay? So... There are a couple things that you can do. Well, first of all, realize that once you have filled up those seven bits in your mind, you're going to start, things are going to start falling off and you're going to start forgetting things. It's just how the mind works, okay? Now, some ways of helping organize all those thoughts is one, make lists, okay? And I'm not talking about you know, writing a to-do list in your smartphone because you actually might forget to open up that to-do list unless that's a habit. Okay, if it's a habit, you go ahead and do that. But I think what's more effective is simply writing down a list that you're going to see every single day, maybe in front of your computer or on the top of your laptop or on the side of your laptop next to the trackpad, okay? Just write down your list. Another thing you can do that will just eliminate the anxiety is say no, okay? Free up your mind from thinking all of these thoughts and just say no when people ask you for something, okay? There's nothing wrong with having your priorities straight, okay? Going down the list of whatever your priorities are, maybe it's, you know, family, then work, then friends, or maybe then girlfriend, then friends, and then, you know, on and on. And once you have those categories filled up, everything else just becomes less important. Tim Ferriss, who wrote The 4-Hour Workweek, said, make sure that you only do two super important things every day. And I took this a step further to making sure that I do those two things before lunch. So that way, once those two super important things are done, I can enjoy my lunch with peace of mind. And let me tell you, it's a really great way of doing things, okay? So, remember... Either create lists and have them there in front of you so you can see them and that way you won't forget. Write it in pencil or in pen, whatever you need to do, but make sure that it's in a place where you always see it. Or just start saying no and clear your mind, okay? That'll literally lower the stress level because you have less to think about and you know exactly what you need to focus on. All right, so if you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more, go ahead and click the link below. That'll take you to a website where you'll put in your email and your name, and you'll be gifted with some more really helpful videos on everything related to say threat and performance anxiety, and that's all I've got to say about that. So once you um, join the newsletter, you'll be receiving daily tips in your email from Team Dylan on everything related to performance anxiety and say threat. All right, I'll talk to you later.